What's up guys, welcome back to the vlog. I am gonna be doing a weekend in my life, as you can tell by the title. I'm always just kind of like sporadic with my weekends, but I feel like this weekend will be fun. I got ready, me and Tyler actually went out, shot some content, we ate lunch, which was really good. I just actually got in some really cute pieces from Forever 21, just for spring and summer coming up. I've been working out, I don't know if I've been telling you guys that I've been trying to get on like my workout game, and I'm like feeling really good about my body, so I thought I would pick up some cute pieces for spring. You guys are gonna be shocked by this haul because there is some color in here and I never wear color. I know that's kind of a thing that people say and it's like, what? Like, you're weird, like just wear red. I don't know, I just love my jeans, my whites, my neutrals, my blacks, like I just love neutral colors, but I really wanted to like experiment and get out of my own comfort zone, get some colorful pieces and I love the spring, it's getting hot outside, brunches, beach, so I got a bunch of cute stuff. I'm gonna show you guys some outfit ideas and I am so excited to say that this video is in collaboration with Forever 21. Cannot believe that those words just came out of my mouth. Genuinely, like 12 year old Tanisha would be like jumping inside. Like she's jumping inside right now, but like I've had a couple days to process it. What a dream come true. I've always loved Forever 21. Middle school, high school era, like that was the exclusive place that I shopped. I rediscovered them. I feel like they are just like, on the up and up, they are killing it with their clothing right now and what they have in right now for spring is so cute. So I wanted to do a haul, show you everything that I got and we're gonna get started. So first thing is actually what I'm wearing is this really sexy dress. I put this on and I started screaming like to Tyler, I'm like, oh my God, this is so cute. So it is this really trendy dress that I've been seeing all over and I never thought that it would actually look good on me because, you know, I'm still kind of working on my ab area, but it is so flattering. So it is like this burnt orange, like brown color. I would say kind of like rust brown. It's really pretty on dark skin, especially. I just feel like this was made for dark skin. Like, you know, like it's just like so decadent, I feel like. So it is the perfect color. It has cutouts on the side and then it covers your boobs a little bit. I have small boobs, but it fits me perfectly. And I'm 5'2 for reference. I will have all of the sizing and links to everything down below in the description box if you have any questions on like sizing and what I got. I'm 5'2, so I think I got a small. Let's see. What did I get? Oh, I still have the tag. Yep, I got a small. It goes down to about my ankles. You could wear these with heels. You could wear these with flats. If you want to do more of like a chill beach outfit, um, I think we're gonna go to brunch tomorrow, so I may wear this for that. It's backless a little bit, has a little cutout. It just makes the butt look really good. It hugs you, midi length, just really sexy spring vibes. You can wear this for summer, on vacation. I just love it. Now we are getting into some workout gear. So like I said, I've been trying to get on my workout game. And if you follow me on Instagram, you've already seen this outfit, but I've been doing Pilates. I really love it. It is like the one workout that I've been trying or I've ever done that has really like kept me motivated. You guys know that like getting cute workout outfits just really motivates you even further to work out. And so this is really out of my comfort zone. I don't usually go for colors like this, but again, like I said, it's spring. So I kind of wanted to branch out a little bit and try some fun colors. So I love this little workout set. It is biker shorts with a matching sports bra. So it doesn't come in a set, but it's the exact same color. So you can wear it as a set. It is this beautiful lilac color. I tucked in um, the sports bra a little bit because it goes pretty long. And so you could wear it like this, but it kind of looks like, um, you know, like a unitard, like one piece. And I like the two piece look. So I just tucked it in a little bit. I took the pads out because I don't really need pads in my sports bra. So I took those out. The shorts just really hug you really nicely. They have this really long band at the top, which really kind of like sucks everything in. I love high-waisted stuff. So this is perfect for me and it makes the booty look good. It's just like a really pretty spring workout set. Like I just imagine like once things open up, a little bit more like being out like on the beach or like on a pier just doing like a class um 
It's just so cute. I love, love, love the color. If you're looking for some new workout sets, Forever 21 has got you covered. The back has this really pretty detailing. It's just like crossed a little bit, which is something different. I don't like too crazy of sports bras, but this is just like crazy enough. It's just like really pretty and cute. All right, another color that is out of my comfort zone, <laughs> but just so pretty for spring. I don't know what it is. I'm just like obsessed with the bright colors right now. So this is like a almost like pastel green. It almost looks, I guess it doesn't look neon. It definitely looks like pastel, really light and pretty really nice color for spring. I feel like the softer colors are exactly what spring is about. And so I really love this set. I think it's perfect for Pilates, which I just do at home, kind of just, you know, yoga mat on the floor. It is squat proof. If you need to do your squats, um, high waisted at the top. So it's really going to sink you, cinch you in and it goes up on the back. It is a little bit see-through, so just be wary of that. I normally wear thongs with my workout outfits, um, so just keep that in mind. And really comfortable, really long. I'm 5'2", and it kind of scrunches up a little bit, so if you're a little bit taller than me, it'll definitely be perfect for you. Again, this isn't a matching set, but I just got the exact same color. It just matches perfectly. The back of the sports bra just looks like that, so again, just like a simple, nice back that is like a little bit of a different detail but not too crazy so i love this one i love that these are leggings so i don't know sometimes you want to switch it up sometimes you want to wear leggings sometimes you want to wear biker shorts and i love this this just like makes me want to work out you know like cute workout clothes make you want to get your shit together this next set would literally be so cute on vacation or like a little beach road trip anything like that like so cute like i love it so it is this really pretty lavender color again just kind of like the purples i don't know like purple is really pretty like a light purple i i can get into it's this two-piece set this one does it come out as that i'm not sure it is the top and shorts the shorts are really free airy so you could wear this to like the pool as like a cover-up i would totally rewear this top with like jeans if i wanted to like if you're on vacation and you want to wear jeans out to dinner i love the little ties i feel like ties are very spring forward and just the free and like flowiness of the shorts just make it really comfortable you're not going to feel too restricted in this you can layer this up with like body jewelry would be so cute ponytail some heels like would really set you off. Next we have another little set that I think is so cute. It would focus. There we go. All right, it is this linen little two-piece set. I do think this comes together. This gives me like almost like Indiana Jones vibes. This is like your neutral spring. So those of you that are not down for the color, you are like, girl, you're crazy. Like, give me my neutrals, give me my linens, give me my whites this set is for you. So this is so cute. It almost looks like a broken up dress. Like if this were like a one piece dress and then they made it into a two piece, which I think is really cute. So the bottoms, as you can see, are a little bit big for me. So I would definitely need to get it tailored a little bit to my body. The top, you can wear it and, you know, button it up all the way. But I kind of like the open chest look, the cleavage. I don't have that much cleavage, so there's nothing really to see here. I just like showing a little bit of chest. I think it's sexy. I would definitely probably like wear it up more like this, like not really showing that much body. I think having the like boxier, baggier top makes it look a little bit more chic. This way kind of looks like, oh, she's chic, like she knows her fashion. This way kind of looks like, uh, that doesn't look right. So definitely if you get this set, make sure you like wear it up so that it looks like a dress almost, but it's like a two piece, gives you like that little dimension. I love that there's a little pocket here too. This is just like really free also. I love the buttons down the front. And it is just a really cute set, actually. Like, I really like this. If it were to fit me, this would be perfect. Like, it would be so good. I love the feeling of the top. It fits perfectly. Just the bottoms, I need to get taken in a little bit. So this next item I kind of got on a whim, but I know that it is wedding season. A lot of people are getting married right now. I feel like spring and summer is when a lot of people get married or there's like, you know, wedding festivities. I thought this was the cutest dress for that. I have 
a few weddings, I think maybe one this summer. So I, this is definitely an option for any of you guys, you know, that have wedding activities or spring activities coming up. This dress is it. I love the color. Again, I normally wouldn't go for something like this, but I think the fit and the style of the dress is so me. So I love some good cleavage. You know, I love showing what my mom did give me, even though it's not that much. I love showing it. And I love that it dips really low. It's a really sexy cut. The color is unreal. It is like this, oh, uh, how would you describe this color? Like almost like a dark blue teal. It's really rich, really pretty for like wedding season. Like I said, this is what I thought of when I picked it out. And the material, as you guys saw, is kind of like a leopard print is what it is. So there is a little bit of texture on the dress. I do, I think I got a small in this, so I do need to get it taken in just slightly. Like I like my dresses to fit a little bit tighter, um, but it's definitely like not too big on me. I love this little triangle cut, very sexy with some like clear heels. Oh, so cute, like the perfect little wedding guest dress or rehearsal dinner dress if you are like you know part of the family or if you're a sister that type of thing oh, so cute and colorful kind of this is kind of more of a neutral but we're gonna say this is color all right this next top is super bright and i just like the more that i'm getting into this haul i'm like who am i these colors are so bright but i don't know it's just like time to do something different you know play up with fashion. That is the whole point of it. This top is bright, bright orange, but I thought it would be so cute for the summer just with like denim shorts. And I have them paired with Air Force Ones, just as you see here. Um, really casual outfit. So like running errands, going to like a theme park, maybe once those open up or just like going down to the beach, going to a pier, going to grab like a little cocktail during the day, just like chill vibes, like chill beach vibes for this outfit. So this top has a little collar, kind of gives me like schoolgirl tennis player vibes. It says LA uh, Leisure and Racket Club. We're in the racket club, folks. Just gives me like, you know, like tennis player, that type of vibe. It has the rib detailing, the collar, super bright. Just, it's a nice pop of color. Like I'm, I'm realizing that I like the pops of color. I just feel like it kind of steps your outfit up a little bit. And this is a really basic outfit, but with the orange shirt, I just feel like it makes it a little bit fun. Like spring and summer is supposed to be fun. It's when you get into the bright colors. So I'm very into this, just like, chill bright top all right it would not be a haul if i didn't throw in some neutral pieces in here so this dress is so me this is the perfect little outfit that i feel like i would wear to just run around the town go grocery shopping run some errands it's very chill it's casual it's cool this is just like my vibe right here so it is this t-shirt dress it is a little bit longer and i always like to give myself a little bit of shape so i paired it with this belt you can pair it with any belt but i think something a little bit chunkier but that has some detailing really just adds to the outfit tie it kind of like loosely like not completely perfect it's just this kind of like faux snake skin belt the dress itself is a little bit ribbed, so it does have some extra detailing, which is kind of cool. It's not completely like just black and simple, so it adds a little bit of something different. I also really love the padded shoulders on this. It just gives it like that really chic vibe, like the accentuated shoulders just make you look super chic put together like it's like a cool girl outfit like this is the definition of cool girl like not trying that hard but you look like you're it so love this super cute just uh, the cutest little outfit i just paired it with the same air force ones but you can pair it with any shoes if you want to dress it up for like a uh, night out you can throw on some heels and you're instantly like ready for a little girl's night out or a date night throw on a leather jacket oh there's like so many different ways that you can wear this one outfit. And that's what I love about like really basic pieces. You can switch them up with everything in your wardrobe. So this is definitely gonna be a new staple for me. I just love it 
for the spring. It's really airy, not too hot, but still gives you a little bit of style. We have another very Tanisha outfit, your classic asymmetrical top. So I really love this one. This is a nice like fancier spring top. It is more of like a sweater material, has the detailing along the side. You guys know I love asymmetrical tops. They are one of my favorite styles. I just feel like they're a really easy way to dress up a more simple outfit. They just, I don't know, there's something about them. It's very sexy, very feminine, which I love. So I love this top. Would look great with jeans as I have them styled here. Um, I don't have a bra on, but I would probably wear a bra. Um, kind of style it something like this and just wear with heels, throw on a leather jacket. Again, go out for drinks with the girls and yeah. Okay, so this is another asymmetrical top. This one is more of like a t-shirt style. So kind of like running around the town, grocery store, errands, like more casual, something that I would just wear with jeans, like chill outfit. You guys know I love basics. So finding different types of white tops with like different features. I love, I am covering my boobs because these are definitely nipply, so you'll definitely have to wear a bra with these. Um, but I just love it, it is really comfortable and stretchy. Super comfortable, you could tuck them into jeans. There's so many ways that you can wear these. Basics are my thing, so I definitely had to pick up some from Forever 21, and this one I just don't have a basic top like this, and so I figured I can wear this with like literally everything. So this is that same top just in black, so a little bit more formal as you can tell. Looks a little bit more dressed up. Just, I love it with jeans. What you could also do is wear these with dark, um, like black shorts. I think that would also be really cute, just all black with some sneakers. Let me actually try on some black shorts so you guys can see what that looks like. So here it is with the black shorts, like I said. So there is definitely a way that you can wear all black for the springtime. You just have to find like spring and summer pieces that are in dark colors. So if you love the dark, definitely don't be afraid to like get fun outfits, like fun little pieces. Um, but just get them black. So these shorts are some of my favorites. They are like more of like a boyfriend style. Pair them with the asymmetrical top and just some white slip on sneakers. I think this is like more of like an effortless kind of spring vibe. Um, but I love the like boxiness and bagginess of the shorts with the tightness of the asymmetrical top. It's a little bit more feminine. So you get that mix of like feminine and a little bit more like you know tomboy with the bigger shorts like these are not too tight I do not like booty shorts you guys know this so these are really cute so this outfit is so cute actually I love this love 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 I just threw on this jacket I saw this on forever 21 site and I thought this was really cute for like almost like a western vibe if you ever had like a western party cowboy party that would kind of be fun for that but I also like this for a night out so this is kind of like feel like leather jackets are a staple, but sometimes you wanna wear something different, something a little bit more fun. So this would be a really fun alternative to a leather jacket. It has a fringe all along the back. It moves, it's more of like a fun piece. I don't know, I don't have anything with like fringe in my closet. I thought this was really cool. It's neutral, so I can wear it with different, you know, pieces in my closet, but Oops, um, just the back really caught my attention and I thought it was something fun and different. Probably not so spring, but with any outfit or any piece, you can make it what you want it. You just gotta know how to work it. All right, we are not done with the color, folks. We have a few more things that are really colorful. So these sweatpants I got because obviously I am at home and not doing much these days and I live in sweatpants and leggings. I thought these were just like a fun pop of color. Again, with that same top that is a little bit see-through. If I was just chilling at home, I wouldn't care that my boobs show, but obviously this is YouTube, so we wanna be appropriate. But yeah, this is another way that you can wear that top with sweats, so something a little bit more casual. And these sweats aren't that out there, like they are a very bright color, but it looks pretty tame, like doesn't look that crazy. You know what I mean? Just like a little fun pop of color. I got these in a medium, so they fit a little bit baggy, but you can definitely go true to size. I like my sweats a little bit bigger just because I like more room if I ever need to eat a lot. 
you know, stuff it down. Okay, so I decided to put on a bra so you guys could see the full outfit, but this is what I mean about a pop of color being like it for the spring. If you are scared of color or if you don't want to buy colorful outfits or clothes or whatever, you wanna to stick to your neutrals, but maybe get pops of color and like accessories, I think this is the way to do it. So you have a really neutral outfit, the same asymmetrical top with some just denim jeans. These are really flared, I love them with this like designer-esque inspired bag. I love the little knot at the top and I love the color. Yellow is like one of my favorite colors. If I am gonna do color, it is yellow. I think it looks really pretty with like gold jewelry on dark skin. Honestly, it looks good on everyone, like every skin color, but I just really love the bag. I love the woven detailing. It's just like this little shoulder bag, which is really in right now. All the cool girls are wearing the shoulder bags, okay? So if you wanna hop on that, this is the cutest way to wear color. I just think it is so effortless, really kind of like timeless. The only trendy thing is the bag, but I think it's like a fun little trend. I love the knot. Like I said, it does come with a little strap. So if you want to wear it long, but I just recommend wearing it like this. I would probably just wear it like that. Heels, sunglasses, you're ready to go. Like, <sighs> how cute. I love that. It's just so pretty. I also picked up this bikini, but I'm not gonna try it on on camera because there are definitely creeps out there. But I will insert a picture of me wearing it. It is really pretty. Again, like I said, I don't know what has come over me, but I'm just like into the pops of color this season. So it's this like striped kind of plaid detailing bikini top. It's really flattering, even if you have small boobs. I thought this straight like cut wouldn't look good, but it does look really good. Again, with the little tie detailing on the top, so on your shoulders, really pretty and in for spring always. And it also has like that similar tie detailing on the bottoms. They are a little bit cheeky. I normally like a more cheekier style. So I think this is kind of like the perfect in-between. You could definitely make them cheekier if you want, but, um, I don't know, it's just a really flattering, flattering bikini. They have a bunch of really cute bikinis on their site, but this one just really caught my eye, just the color, the cut, and it just looks really good. So I wanted to show you guys that. Um, I did get one swimsuit because I'm trying to get that body right. So this top is what I mean when I say Forever 21 is killing it right now. This top is it. Really love this. I love everything about it. I love the scrunch detail at the front. It's very like, summery I don't know like it's just scream summer to me I love it in this white color again like I said I love basic so this white I can pair with black I can pair with denim like a lot of different things I always think about that when I shop how many different ways can I wear this piece will it match with other things that I have so color is definitely fun but you also want to have some good basics in your closet as well so this is like a really pretty summer basic I love the back like this back is me and a top, I love it. So there's a little strap on the top and then there's the tie at the bottom. Just really sexy, really summery. Um, I would probably wear it like this, just with jeans, kind of like more effortless. Oh, I just love this top so much. It's so feminine, really pretty, fits really well. Um, if you have bigger boobs, there's definitely room in here, so don't worry about that. And you can kind of play with it. It does move around, so you can like really adjust. Um, but I just love it. It's really cute. I just, I don't know. I'm really into the strap detailing. I'm into the ruching. It's just like a really pretty feminine top that I really love. I think that is everything that I picked up from Forever 21. A lot of cute summery pieces like this and everything. So I will have all of the pieces that I showed today down below in the description box. So make sure you guys check out the description. I'll have sizing, links, everything will be down below. So make sure you guys check that out. I'm gonna clean up a little bit because this room is an absolute pigsty. Like I have not unpacked from Napa, my Napa weekend trip. <sighs> I don't know if this is just me, but if I do not unpack my suitcase, the day after I come back, it just stays there for weeks. So I'm going to try and tackle that right now, Ch tackle this mess of a room. So that's what we're going to do. Yeah, yo, yeah, yo. Hey, look. You don't need no filters. You, you my rocket, you my perfect picture. Baby, you know I'm 
I'm tryna kick it with ya. Ain't gotta wait till it gets dark. We get 106 and park, you be my rock, I be your bitch. I'm tryna show you off. I'm tryna flaunt ya. I'm obsessed with ya, baby, I want ya. Let them watch ya, tell them they can tune in, show you how we do this. I put a love on a billboard, so you just need to look out your window. Show the whole city I'm all yours. Let me put us on display. Alexa, pause. All right, finished cleaning, put all of my suitcases and everything away. I decided that I'm gonna wear this tonight. We are going to a friend's like birthday party tonight. It's gonna be kind of chill. So I thought I would kind of just go for like the Tanisha basic outfit. This top that I just showed you guys from Forever 21. Jeans, and then I don't know what shoes I'm gonna wear yet. I kind of want to like do casual but I feel like I should be elevated a little bit just with the long pants. We'll figure it out later. I'm probably gonna have to touch up my makeup. Oh, I need to talk about this. I'm gonna show you guys tomorrow when I do my makeup. This foundation, if you guys watched my birthday lives, you guys know the whole debacle over this foundation and how I bought a color, it didn't work for me, and I didn't have time to go return it, so I kind of lost out on that money, so I went again to sephora bought a different shade and honestly the hype is real i have never been one to be very hyped about foundations you guys know my go-to is hourglass i love the giorgio armani luminous silk um drugstore i really like the revlon so i have a few foundations that i just kind of like switch in between but this one is probably going to be my new like just like when i want to have a little bit like and you guys know i'm not like a makeup person like i'm either gonna go all out or i'm not gonna wear any makeup like there's no in between so i don't really have like no makeup makeup looks like it doesn't really exist because like i will sit there and say okay i'm gonna do a 10 minute makeup but then it turns into like a full beat but this i started applying this and i'm gonna show you tomorrow it literally looks like your skin it's what i'm wearing today and i don't know where i have been this is honestly the best skin ever. I know why they named it that. It is really good. I'm going to show it to you guys live. Um, it just like looks exactly like your skin. I thought that this was not going to cover, but honestly, I am surprised. Obviously, I have like this little spot here. It's not really going to go away. Um, but I was really surprised by how this like applied it is like it literally just like blends into your skin It looks really natural, but it's surprisingly like medium full coverage like you could definitely build it up Um, it definitely looked better this morning. I'm getting a little bit oily It's usually what happens when I wear makeup and like I'm doing a bunch of things, but see how that just instantly like made me look a little bit better getting a little bit oily but this foundation oh my gosh i'm so shocked by it and i applied it with this revlon brush and i usually always use like a beauty blender or a sponge but i applied it with this brush and it applied so well so i'm gonna have to show you guys this in action tomorrow because i am like shook by it shook so that is definitely gonna be my new like just like chill when i want to have like there's like phases i don't know like you girls know what i mean like there's like 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 phases that you go through with makeup like there is the makeup days where you don't want to do anything like natural face which is me 99.9 .9 percent of the time then there is like okay i want to look a little bit alive like i just want to have like a clear complexion that is this but the secret is like the cool thing about this is it, it is buildable to like a full coverage which is really cool then there's like no makeup makeup which would be like the revlon foundation if you want full coverage i would do hourglass and if you want like luminous full coverage like luxury i would do armani so those are all of the foundations that i use like on a repeat and this oh my gosh I'm so shocked by it, so I love this. I'm just like getting really into like new makeup. I don't know what it is. Like I've been trying different foundations. I've been trying, you know, different colors and clothes. My battery's dying, hold. All right, we got a new battery.
so yeah like I was saying I've just been like branching out with new makeup like trying new things or like being open to new makeup usually I'm just very like regimented if I like something and it works like I don't try anything else but I've been trying new makeup I've been trying to like try new colors of clothes just be you know evolve we're trying to evolve around here so I wanted to show you guys this bag and there's other things that I got that I will eventually show. I just don't know where they are, but I got this really cute bag from H&M and I'm so shocked by it. Like it literally looks like a, like almost like Christian Dior kind of. Um, it's probably like inspired maybe, I don't know. But I picked it up from H&M before my Napa vacation. I showed it on a YouTube live and a lot of you guys agreed and I really like it for the price I've been trying to see if it's still in stock online but I think it's sold out right now I'm not sure um but there's like a parrot a cheetah the like palms it's just very like Christian Dior to me I don't know like it just reminds me of that I'm not saying it's trying to be that but it reminds me of that tote bag and I just think it's really cute so I wanted to show this because I have just been like obsessed with it not that I've been going anywhere even with this outfit like it's blurry focus there we go even with this outfit it's just really cute um so yeah those are the two things I'm gonna show you guys this foundation tomorrow for sure how it looks on I just want to like I want you guys to see like the application process because it is pretty cool so i'll show you guys that tomorrow i've just been having fun with makeup it's been fun um okay it's a little bit early to it's too early to eat dinner so i'm not going to make anything just yet but i am going to chill for a little bit i need to charge my phone and we also need to start planning our gallery wall. I don't know if I talked about this. I feel like I started a vlog a couple days ago and accidentally deleted some footage. So I just kind of scrapped it. But me and Tyler want to do like a gallery wall right here. So we have this like empty space on this wall next to the heater. And I want to do a gallery wall with like a bunch of different types of antique frames. So like mixing like different shit, not really shapes, all like square rectangle, but like different frame styles, maybe gold, maybe black, maybe vintage, like antiques, like just kind of like tying the whole space together. I want to get also like a vintage bench to go either here or here because we have this window and there's not really like anything else that we could put right here so I could either do a bench with maybe like some books or I do it here underneath the gallery wall so I'm still not sure where the bench is gonna go I don't even have a bench yet so it's not really like a big deal um, because I don't I don't have it I have been being picky about like buying stuff but I do want to like resume apartment process again like I kind of took a little bit of a break because it is a lot of money and it's a lot of work to furnish an apartment especially the way that I want it like I want it not to be perfect because this isn't our forever home but I do want it to be something that we really like and we're really thinking about what pieces we're bringing in and eventually like like this couch like this can live somewhere else in a house like somewhere you know what I mean like it doesn't have to be the main living room couch but this will definitely take like the coffee table I love the media console like that can go in like a bedroom or something like there's pieces in here that I love and don't want to just throw away after we leave here so I've been trying to be super intentional it makes it hard because I'm not open to just buying the first thing that I see like I'm trying to wait and really love it but then also the things that I really love are expensive. So it's like a balance of like liking something but then not waiting too long because I also didn't want to like be living in an empty space for like months and months. Like I'm not trying to be that picky. But with like the d decor things, I feel like you can be pickier because it's not a necessity. I eventually also want to like replace the nightstands but again, not a necessity. I want to do the office over like I'm not like the only times I'm in that office are like when I need to like get clothes or like film like fashion stuff or 
like get dressed because that's where my clothes are and I'm not really in there that much because it just like does not bring me joy. I don't know what it is. I think it's like hard when like you're working with like a multi-purpose space like Tyler uses that for work. I have the desk in there which I could use for work also and makeup and like it's my dressing room. It's like a studio. It's like so many different things so it's hard to design around that like a, like make it functional but also like pretty. So I've been struggling with what to do there. If you guys have any like tips or ideas or any photos that you've seen of like offices that are like multi-purpose or at least like two desks i think that's the thing that is like i'm struggling with the most is decorating and like designing around two desks all of the photos that i've seen have kind of been either like one really long desk for two people which we don't really want to do um so it's hard if you guys have any tips please let me know down below of what we could do with that room because i am like struggling and it's really bad because i like don't like going in there and i want to like enjoy every single space in this apartment but i just i don't know there's something about that room i just can't get with it yet so i've been in a funk but i'm gonna sit and just kind of chill for a little bit because i am exhausted it's really hot i feel like whenever it's hot you just like kind of get tired but me and tyler are about to probably watch he wants to watch a baseball game so i'll probably sit here and do that and then we're gonna go to our friend's birthday later. I made a little drink. This is just, um, it's like fruit juice, but like natural fruit juice. I don't really know if that's a thing, but natural fruit juice and then Topo Chico together. And it's really good if like you want a little bit of more of like a sweeter drink, but you still want to drink water. It's almost like flavored Topo Chico. It's basically how I describe it. Guys. Okay. I'm literally dead. <laughs> oh my god. Why do I do this to myself? I don't know. But I look so rough. I just got out of the shower. Um, I'm about to do some skincare, so I thought I would show you guys. But oh my gosh. Look at this. I can't drink like I used to. I don't know what it is. Like, I just have like a few drinks now and I am like thrown out afterwards like does this happen to anyone else i just feel like i i cannot handle cannot do it so just washing my face i need to like drink so much water i'm so dehydrated so i have some water in here and i'm drinking it oh my gosh i just can't all right skincare OG hyaluronic acid from the ordinary so what I've been doing lately and I need to film like a full skincare video but what I've been doing lately is I'm not really using cleanser that much but I just like kind of rinse my face no it's kind of weird but I'll use cleanser like maybe every other day maybe every two days um to get like a deep clean but for the most part I stopped like using cleanser and I don't know if that's like a bad thing but my skin has been fine so I don't know I'm out of my niacinamide so I have just been using this Desi skin now which I'm so excited about it's actually like the prettiest bottle of skincare that i have ever had if you guys haven't heard of it desi perkins one of my favorite like influencers probably the only influencer that i will actually like buy stuff from um just because i love her so much i don't know i just think she's so genuine and funny and she's really creative like she's really good at her job so i bought her skincare she came out with glado que si it's a vitamin c serum and you guys know i am trying to obviously get rid of all of my hyperpigmentation so i have been testing this out for the past i would say like maybe five days or like a week and i haven't seen anything significant yet other than this is lightening up slightly but I can't say for sure that that, it, that it's this. But I really love the packaging. Like, I'm a sucker for really good packaging. It's very heavy, very, like, substantial. And she just did such a good job with it. So I have been going in with this after. I'll do, like, about three pumps. And I'll put that all over my face. Okay. 
Um, and after that, I normally don't do this. I don't really use eye cream, but I'm going to go in with this Ren Brightening Dark Circle Eye Cream. Just because I feel like I need something to like kind of brighten me up a little bit. But I definitely think you can like get away with like using a moisturizer and just focus it underneath your eyes. It's kind of the same thing. I don't know. Eye cream is one of those things that I'm like, do you really need it? I'm not sure. But I have some. Next I'll go in with moisturizer and I've been switching it up a little bit. I have been using Rich Bitch, which is from Freck. They sent me a few of their products. So I've been using this during the day because it has vitamin C in it. So during the day, I always like to use my vitamin C products. And then at night, I'll use the Ultra Repair ultra repair cream from first aid beauty and this is more of like a thicker moisturizer so that's why i like to use it at night because i really want to like moisturize and really hydrate my skin at night when i'm sleeping so i apply a thicker moisturizer at night this i really like but like i said it's thick so during the day it can kind of be too much so i have just been using this solely at night now and then during the day, I will use this one. And I love the name. It kind of reminds me um, of the jet lag mask tube. Just kind of like that kind of crinkled vibe. But I love the name. And it's just like makes me feel like a boss. So I apply some of that. Just put that all over. And this actually smells really good. I don't know if there's fragrance in it. I usually don't like when my skincare products have fragrance. Um, but it kind of smells like a fresh, fresh feeling. Like the fragrance isn't like overwhelming or like a smell that you would kind of find like weird. It just kind of smells fresh. Okay, next sunscreen. You guys know I love the Tula Protect and Glow. It's one of my favorites. Makes me really glowy. I just apply that all over. Hopefully you can see. So good. All right. Lastly, I have a little pimple. I'm going to use my handy dandy BHA acne spot treatment from First Aid Beauty. And I just apply that directly on the pimple. Just gonna squeeze it out. Kinda when you apply it, looks like you have cystic acne, but what it does is it like dries over and it really like dries out that pimple. So this is what I like to use. I'll do this for like a couple days and then after um, I'll go in with the rescue balm so that I don't get like a dark spot. So hopefully that doesn't happen. I have a few dark spots I need to figure out. My robe is from Amazon. It is literally amazing. I'll show you guys really quick. Here's the robe. It's from Amazon. It's a men's, but I just got an extra small and I love it because it's like a sweater material, like a sweatshirt, like a hoodie. You know what I mean? Like it has a hoodie on it. It just feels like very comfortable. So I don't know what I'm, I don't know what we're doing today yet. So I don't really want to get dressed. So that's why I just put this on. All right. I need coffee ASAP, like ASAP. Hmm, I guess I don't look that bad. You already made your eggs? Yeah. <laughs> I see that. <laughs> and I ate them. You're like, uh-uh. Uh, All right, we're gonna go to brunch with one of our friends. And I decided to do a little bit of makeup because I wanted to show you guys this foundation that I was talking about yesterday. Best Skin Ever Foundation from Sephora. Super affordable, $20. And I think it like looks like skin. So I'm gonna show you how it applies. This is what I look like now. I normally would just go like this because I don't care. But I wanna show you guys this. Because it literally, I don't know what it is, but it's really thin. So you see how that like kind of like thinned out? But it somehow like covers, which 
I don't know, I'm like, this isn't that like groundbreaking, but I'm just like really shocked because I normally don't like thinner foundations. But this somehow just like, you see how that just like kind of made my skin look even? I don't know, it's like very subtle. I just feel like it looks so good. Just like a light little bit of makeup, like just looks like you, but better. I don't know, I'm into that. Like, oh, I'm shook by this. <laughs> Tyler's watching me and he's like, huh? But like genuinely, it looks like your skin. Like literally your best skin ever. Just like the name. I just did one pump. I think I'm gonna do just like a tiny bit up here. Not too much. Just like I said, I don't like doing like the half-ass makeup. I'm either gonna go all out or nothing. But I feel like with this, you can do kind of half-ass, but it still look like full. Still natural. Doesn't look like too crazy. I don't know, I don't wanna do too much because then once I start like doing one product, then I like pull out the others and you know how that goes. So I may do just a tiny bit of concealer. Here I go, busting out the products. Okay, another product that I've actually been really loving is this Glowgasm Beauty Light Wand from Charlotte Tilbury. I've realized Glowgasm. that like, yeah, that's what it's called. It's called Glowgasm. Jesus. <laughs> I've realized that I've been kind of sleeping on Charlotte Tilbury. Like, of all the products that I've tried from her, this bronzer and this wand, I've actually really liked. So I kind of want to like branch out and try more of her products because... They're actually really good. Like this is so nice for like, especially this type of makeup where it's just like really simple, glowy, not too much. Just kind of press it out and then I pounce it on my skin. And then I'll take like a little beauty blender like this and you just kind of like blend it out. And you could leave it like this and be like a little bit more of like a, you know, like inward glow or you can be extra like me and put more highlight on top. So that's what I'm going to do. But I like doing this step first because I feel like um, it just makes the highlighter look better. I don't know what it is. Like it just makes it feel like you're like glowing from within. So I'll take the Fenty and just like put that on top. And it doesn't look as like extra. I don't know. It kind of just makes it look like you're just glowing. I do the breath. Freeze! Everybody clap your hands. There's finished makeup. Very easy. Chill. Not too much glowy i need to figure out what i'm going to wear something chill honestly we're just going like down the street to brunch nowhere crazy i'm gonna drink my coffee pick out an outfit oh, i've been really loving how my brows have been turning out these past two days I'm trying to grow out my eyebrows to make them a little bit more fuller so that they're more of like a not a like a steep arch you know what I mean like more of like a a little small hill not like a mountain okay let's go find it out I see the way you move this dirty Diana you say don't get comfortable I'm too hot to handle many promises but no guarantees just say to believe all that I can be all right, the next day I wanted to come on here and kind of just end off the vlog after, what did I even film last? I honestly don't even remember. I think it was, uh, oh, I was showing my makeup and then I was getting ready to go to brunch. So me and Tyler went to brunch with our friend Gabe who have, we haven't seen him in a while. So we just wanted to meet up with him, catch up 
and I think I shared my outfit if I didn't I just ended up wearing one of um, the outfits from forever 21 which was really cute I wore like the little like two-piece um, I kind of call it like my Indiana Jones vibe outfit so I wore that and we just went to brunch came back it was pretty chill kind of was like lazy yesterday just because we went out Saturday night and just like I feel like the day after recovering from going out is just like always like you're just slow you're not really like functioning so we just kind of like chilled um and just kind of enjoyed our Sunday so I think I'm gonna start another vlog but I wanted to come on here um say goodbye hope you guys enjoyed it and i will see you guys in the next video